So I woke up this morning and I saw this tweet. And I thought, yeah, this is actually true. The drink was popular in Nigeria, Mali, and all throughout North Africa, and it was known as Kunuaya. It was introduced to Mexico because of Spanish and Portuguese traders. But it's not just horchata that's quintessentially African in Latin America. Tamarind that's used in tamarindo, in popular drinks throughout South America and the Caribbean, comes from the tamarind plant that's native to West Africa. Jamaica that's used in Agua de Jamaica is also from a plant that's native to West Africa. Dominican mangu, Puerto Rican mofongo are all derivatives of the word mangusi, which is a Congolese word which means to mash, which is exactly what's being done in the preparation of this food. The concept of sancocho, taking meats from several different animals and stewing them and adding a thickener along with vegetables, was first discovered on islands off the coast of West Africa. This dish is now one of the most popular dishes in Colombia, Venezuela, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. The idea of using plantains as a starch to make food like pasteles goes back to the African tradition of using them for the same thing along with cassava and yuca. People would like to have us think that we're so far removed from our African roots, but... We're really not.